The heart is a vital organ of the body. It works as a pump and pushes the blood into a network of tubes. The human heart is conical in shape with the apex facing downwards and broad base upwards. It is situated in the thoracic cavity between the lungs and above the diaphragm. It is oriented slightly towards the left. The heart is protected by the rib cage on all sides and by the vertebral column on the back side. The size of human heart is similar to the size of a closed fist. If we observe the cross section of the human heart, internally it shows four chambers. The upper two chambers are called right atrium and left atrium and the lower two chambers are called the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Atria are thin walled chambers whereas the ventricles are thick walled chambers. The atria are separated by a thin muscular partition. The ventricles are separated by a thick muscular partition. Now, let us study the circulation of blood that occurs inside the heart. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body through vena cava. This blood is pumped into the right ventricle. The opening between the right atrium and the right ventricle is guarded by a valve. The valve separates these two chambers thereby avoiding mixing of blood. The valve also allows blood to flow only in one direction. From the upper part of the right ventricle, the pulmonary artery arises. This pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs. The left atrium has four openings of pulmonary veins. The oxygenated blood from the lungs is brought into the left atrium through the pulmonary veins. This blood is pumped into the left ventricle through the valve present between the left atrium and the left ventricle. The main artery or the aorta arises from the upper inner part of the left ventricle. This main artery or aorta carries oxygenated blood which is distributed to different body organs. Heartbeat The process in which blood is distributed to different body parts and is again collected and transported back to the heart is described as blood circulation. The heart is a pumping organ. It undergoes rhythmic contraction and relaxation. The rhythmic contraction and relaxation of heart together constitute a single heartbeat. Human beings have an average of 72 heartbeats per minute while at rest. The number of heartbeats increases during or after any physical exercise or when a person becomes excited. Heartbeats can easily be heard through an instrument called stethoscope. Every time the heart beats, blood is forced into the arteries. The expansion of an artery each time the blood is forced into it constitutes a pulse. Each heartbeat generates one pulse in the arteries. Hence, the pulse rate of a person is equal to the number of heartbeats per minute. Arteries are generally situated deep inside the skin and hence cannot be used to feel the pulse. However, at some places in our body such as the wrist and the neck, arteries are situated close to the skin surface. Therefore, we can feel the pulse at these places by pressing the artery lightly with our fingertips.